even if you don't like cycling, do you know what the Tour de France is? Do you know it's grueling? 3,300 kilometers, day after day, real mixture of terrain. We've got the mountains, we've got the Alps, the Pyrenees, we got the cobbles in northern France. It is pretty immense. You see the professionals suffering. We're trying to emulate them by doing every single mile and at the same time raising money and awareness for a great cause. Individually, we're asking everybody to raise £30,000. There's a very wide range of ability levels of people from different backgrounds. Everyone's got a story to tell regarding the disease and what we're doing this for. And I think that helps everybody to pull through. Cycling is an absolute leveller. and You're all equal when you're on that mountain struggling together. Welcome to Copenhagen. Very famous for all its cycle paths. It does create a few problems because there's so many bikes. So it's really important that you get through this bit before we start riding for proper tomorrow. I was a little bit nervous, to be honest. It was quite busy today, but it was great to be with the team. The sun was shining, the students were celebrating graduation, which was good to see. The camaraderie is great. There's a real bond, I think, already forming with the, with the team. It was a nice stretch of our legs to prepare us for what's to come. That's a mystique about cobbles. In Flanders, they're an essential part of the biggest races. Today, we're riding 11 sectors that are a part of the Paris-Roubaix race. And the single day riders, the one race they want to win is Paris-Roubaix. Basic rule, you're looking for the smoothest path. Actually on the cobbles themselves, that's gonna be on the crown. Then you've got the edges. But the trouble with the edges is there's hidden potholes and suddenly someone flips over because they've gone down a hole. You don't understand it until you're on it. You just can't. It's just, it's brutal, mate. Absolutely brutal. I'll be very happy if I go through the rest of my life never doing it again. It was very quiet during rollout. Everyone was nervous. It was the biggest day thus far in elevation wise. And it was hot for some of the riders who were really feeling it. The only word that I could come up with yesterday after doing that nearly 5,000 meter day was like insanity. Those climbers are outrageous. The worst, I think, was called the Grognon. That one was a gradient that you couldn't find a cadence, you couldn't find a rhythm. It wasn't a mountain I'd even heard of before I'd seen it on the tour, but I can honestly say, I've never, ever ridden up anything quite like it in my life. Punch drunk is the only word I can use. I was trying to look for a word there. We were punch drunk from that climb. <laughs> I'm so shocked that my body is doing what it's doing. I just don't know where, where I'm finding the strength from. And then when we got to the top, it's just so high. And we we're so close to this guy, and I just kept thinking about so many people that aren't here anymore, and thinking about a lot of people that have been affected by leukaemia. Just reminds you why you're doing it. Thank you. <laughs> about four weeks ago, a guy in the club passed away. He's only 53, close to his wife and his son, and thought one thing he always wanted to do was like, go to the mountains. So that was a gesture that something he could do for the club, that he could place a bottle on top of the bay, just as a mark of respect. Carcassonne was like coming into a furnace. The air was just so hot. 
As you were descending, you could feel the oven door open. It was like somebody turned a gas fire on. We've drunk gallons and gallons. Don't know where it's all going. The mind, I think, is just a little bit fried at this stage. The long range forecast as we head into the Pyrenees is just unremittingly hot. There's some really difficult days ahead. Some of the ride captains were pointing the Pyrenees out and at first you looked and you saw a range of mountains. Well, they weren't the Pyrenees. And then you looked again and there was another range behind that and they're still not the Pyrenees. And then you saw just stand there looking intimidating at you, beckoning you on to come and see what you've got. They're unforgiving. They're steeper than the Alps. To be honest, they scare the life out of me. They just look nastier and harder. Some of the descents pretty technical and pretty scary as well. And let's see how the legs can stand up to the heat and the gradient and everything that it's going to throw at us. The moments of truth are coming. I think he's broken his arm or his shoulder. Um, need I'm you. trying to call cool need to go back, back up to the top. I overcooked it on a corner and then there was a car there suddenly and I ran out of road. Last thing I remember is flipping over, head over heels into the, you know, into the gorge. Down there. Oh, my collarbone's broke. There, look, it's broke. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Collarbone. Andy took control of the situation, clearly directed who was doing what. French hospitals are excellent. I'm here after a couple of days, I'm feeling good. I'm not able to cycle the last couple of stages, but there's the end goal, there's the raising the money, and if I can contribute in any way in the next few days, you know, I want to do that. I'm here to complete the journey. The last climb was brutally hard because you're just thinking, I've got nothing left in the tank. But when I get to the top, knowing there isn't a Cat 1 or an HC climb again is, is a wonderful feeling. Well, you can do a lot more than you think you can <laughs> when you're actually in there. On paper, it's like, well, it's just impossible. But maybe you just try and in the end, you may find the resources in yourself to, to finish it and do it. The tour has been able to deliver on so many fronts, raise awareness for cure leukemia, raise money for the cause, giving hope to patients. That's the main thing. It's been painful. We've learned a lot about ourselves, probably more than we'd have liked, but we're here. 70K to roll around today. It'll be an absolute delight. It's three weeks of craziness. We've got a ton of money raised and it's, it's surreal. It's really surreal. Last day in Paris, this is gonna be quite emotional for me. This feels like a a real finale. Some brilliant people, a superb team that's formed. I'm looking forward to it. A bit sad as well. I guess it's the sort of the sense of achievement hasn't quite soaked in yet. What the team have achieved, the money we've raised so far, and obviously all the memories that we've we've made over the last 20 stages. celebration of what we've done but are just a mark of what we've still got to achieve to get to the target and I think just a moment to, to stand and to breathe and to, to try and take it all in. Losing a, a loved one is not easy and if we can help in any way to prevent people from that then that's what we need to do so yeah please keep giving. <laughs>